Welcome back. Every player in tonight's Super Bowl game put in blood, sweat, and tears to get there. Each has a story of their own unique journey with the game. 13 News reporter Hannah Getz joins us now with more. Elijah Wellman is a Wayne County boy, a former WVU fullback, and currently signed with the Washington Redskins. He still has plenty of work ahead of him to make the final roster, but it's the moments that got him there that matter most. Now here's a snap, and there's Bush being the decoy. It's a shuttle pass ahead to Elijah Wellman, and he runs up for a first. It's been a blessing, really. I mean, it's really every little thing in life makes you who you are. And uh, football has really made me who I am today, really. So, Elijah Wellman was born into a football family. His grandfather was the president of the local youth league, and his father was one of his very first coaches. My dad was a little bit harder on me than all the other kids just because I was his son. So that made me the football player I am today, too. Dad always told my kids, uh, I'll tell you what you did wrong on the way home. Your mom can tell you how good you are. <laughs> a coaching style made of tough love and the true meaning of the game. It teaches you uh, how to be humble when you win. It teaches you to be uh, gracious in defeat. It teaches you how to uh, respect others. Uh, there's so many, and I've told my kids I coach all the time, if all you get out of this is football, I've failed you. Wellman took a trip down memory lane, remembering those who have been right. there for the ride. Oh man, this is a good picture. It was it like kind of sitting down with your whole family going back and watching? Yeah, watching it, I, I swear you get, I got chill bumps like thinking about it. And then when I watch it, it's like you get chill bumps again just because it's like, dang, that was awesome. You know what I mean? Like those were the days. Wellman's parents, big brother Zach and little sister Sophie, have been there for him through it all. A lot of people don't have that, and I'm very fortunate to have that. This past season, they stood at the Timberwolves 50 yard line during Wellman's high school jersey retirement ceremony the first in program history. You know, what he did here uh, it changed the face of the program and then what he did at the next level. And, uh, you know, you get paid to play, you're, you, I think you deserve to get your number retired. It's kind of nice too because uh, Zach wore the same number, her older son, Elijah Ward, then Jonah, her nephew Ward. So it's kind of like the Wellmans had kind of had that number for the last 10 years and to see it retired was pretty special. The Wayne County native then represented his state as a mountaineer, taking the field for West Virginia University. Being from West Virginia, being yeah. from a blue collared area, does that come out from for how you played? Yeah, absolutely. Kind of a gritty, you know, mean player. You know, I mean, I don't, it's, football's not nice, so you go out there and you try to be as mean and as physical as you can. Eventually, the grit and grime of the gridiron will leave Wellman with a college education, the love and support of his family and community, and memories to last a lifetime. I've really grown into a man, really, like, throughout the whole football experience. I think I'm, I'm not ready for it in whatsoever, but, you know, I'm expecting what it's going to be like, you know what I mean? I mean, I've had a good ride and enjoyed every moment of it, so. Wellman's journey to the pros hit some adversity after signing with the Redskins last season as an undrafted free agent. He was injured in the first preseason game, landing on the injured reserve list and eventually waived. But with a futures contract currently in hand, he isn't giving up. I'm Hannah Getz, 13 News, working for you. And we certainly wish him the best of luck.